I am the conscience in the heart of all creatures. I am their beginning, their being, their end. I am the mind of the senses. I am the radiant sun among lights. I am the song in sacred lore. I am the king of deities. I am the priest of great seers. This is how Lord Krishna describes God in the Holy Gita. And to most Hindus, He is the God Himself, the Supreme Being or the Purna Purushottam. The most powerful incarnation of Vishnu, the great exponent of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is one of the most powerful incarnations of Vishnu, the Godhead of the Hindu trinity of deities. Of all the Vishnu avatars, He is the most popular, and perhaps of all Hindu gods the one closest to the heart of the masses. Krishna was dark and extremely handsome. The word Krishna literally means black, and black also connotes mysteriousness. The importance of being Krishna for generations, Krishna has been an enigma to some, but God to millions, who go ecstatic even as they hear His name. People consider Krishna their leader, hero, protector, philosopher, teacher and friend all rolled into one. Krishna has influenced the Indian thought, life and culture in myriad ways. He has influenced not only its religion and philosophy, but also into its mysticism and literature, painting and sculpture, dance and music, and all aspects of Indian folklore. Whether he was a human being or a God incarnate, there is no gainsaying the fact that he has been ruling the hearts of millions for over three millennia. In the words of Swami Harshananda, if a person can affect such a profound impact on the Hindu race affecting its psyche and ethos and all aspects of its life for centuries, he is no less than God. Please subscribe this channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.